Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to the town where I live in Moscow region at Prelivka and I thought I'd take you for a walk around a Russian typical supermarket it's called Magnit and I wonder if I'm going to be attracted to the prices it's right behind me let's go check it out it's a beautiful blue sky day today and such a nice day for going for a walk and actually I walked from my house down here and back it's about 10 minute walk in each direction just in front of us here is the main train station this is a Prelivka station this is also the last stop on the D4 train line which a lot of people seem to know now quite a lot about my town because of that train line there is actually a shopping center just off in the distance over here and then there's a smaller shopping center or a more like a market here uh, on the right hand side. The way we want to go is to Magnit. And there isn't a person in Russia, I don't think that has not shopped in a Magnit at some point in their life. There is more than 28,000 of these throughout all of Russia. And this particular location is quite big. You can see it goes off in the distance there. Little bit of snow left, but it's almost all gone. Now, I understand this store has had a little bit of remodeling recently, so it might be interesting to make some comparisons. They're open seven days a week, 8 a.m. until 11 p.m. So you can come shopping anytime. Now, the first thing that I definitely notice that's new is there used to be a small bakery where these doors were, and that's disappeared completely. And then as I walk in on this side, there used to be a small uh, dried fruits and nuts cellar here on the right hand side. But from what I can see is they've completely opened up the whole store. And now basically the entire shop is just the magnet and nice and easy to shop just in one place. And the first thing we see here is the fruit section still hanging on to mandarins for the end of the season and grapes are going to start arriving soon and soon strawberries so i'm very happy about that all oh, the sun is coming in that window right there so yeah they've definitely changed this around the fruit and vegetable sections got much larger they've improved the lighting as well which is good and then i mean all of the classic fruits and vegetables that we know very well are here and then on this side all of the canned and jarred foods so things like the pickled vegetables peas and corn and then some of the canned meats and canned fish I'm sure some people maybe know the different types of sprats right here depending on where you live in the world you may enjoy them my dad loves them by the way and it's quite funny that he gets the ones that are from europe in australia we don't have them domestically made so they're all imported into australia apples all the usual things on this side and then plenty of choices of pasta fairly classic bag of pasta here for about 60 rubles now magnet is actually quite well known for being a a good value supermarket and this is a full line supermarket it has literally everything that you need you can see salt and then sugar cubes then cooking oil so everything is here as we walk around and this is the new addition to the store here they've actually now got a cafe or at least a setup of a cafe i don't think it's actually opened just yet they've just sort of installed it and it's not been fully implemented and they've also got this fresh bread section this is all new now this is interesting up here if you shop after 8 p.m you get discounted bread of course they want to get rid of the last lots of product for the end of the day and then tomorrow it'll be fresh bread again the pastries and bread right there and then over here some of the instant noodles a little bit of frozen fish so definitely the store's got a lot more spacious too 
feels just a little bit bigger as I'm walking around. This bread section used to be on the opposite side, so they've made it a lot more convenient now. When you walk in, you almost sort of walk down that aisle and you're kind of presented with it. And they've got my garlic loaf right there. Both types are available. At least I'm happy. Even if I don't find anything else in the store, my garlic loaf is available. And we come around then to the uh, dairy section, all the refrigerated items. Oh, let's have a look. The lady just went by me with the new bakery items. I think she's got some, perhaps some sort of scrolls. I'm not too sure what she has, but sorry, I got a bit distracted. I don't think I'll do any take twos today. I'll just walk around and show it in as quick a time as I can. They actually have a ready meal fridge. So these are all essentially microwave meals. That's the thing, you can get some easy made food. And this really hasn't changed. They always had these middle stacks of kind of bulk items, which don't look pretty, but you know, it serves the purpose of getting things out from the back and onto the shop floor. Some nice cakes right here. And then as we swing around then the dairy section just kind of keeps going and going. Yogurts and then milk. And there's another little bit of frozen food. And then the treats and biscuits start. Let's see. These fridges at the back here were the same as they used to be. And then they've added another middle aisle here. So this is nice. They've been able to then get more product out and more stock out. Feels like they've added more space to the store, but really it's all the same uh, footprint. Plenty of choice of coffee. There's also the large bags of them at the top there. And it's just a matter of knowing your favorite type. And the same when it comes to teas as well. There is way too many choices of teas in Russia. This whole right hand side. And there's some children's baby food. Nestle right there. I think most people know that as a brand. And then the seafood, mayonnaise. And then actually this is the rest of the baby food all on this side. There's a whole aisle of baby items. Plenty of choices. As we go right by the stack of Budweiser. So a can of Budweiser, 63 rubles. So it's not even a dollar for a basically a half litre can or thereabouts. Now, uh, somebody did point this out to me that it's called Bud in most European places, not Budweiser. Bud. All of the hams and salamis. So this is really nice what they've done with the changes. They've definitely improved the lighting. That's an absolute certainty. It was always never great in this store. I felt like Sometimes you need a torch to get around, but now it's much more improved. The candy section right here, and then all of the pay by weight candy. My wife loves this in any supermarket we go to. She can grab a bag of her favorite ones, and then all of the classic packaged candy. So you can get a bag of any of these pay by weight candies in a 300 gram bag, but if you just want a handful of quite a few different ones. It's an option. And then chocolates. Milka is right here. Do they have my Milka? Oh, they do. Bubbly banana. This one right here. If you can find it. Banana and chocolate mixed together. Everybody's dream, or at least my dream anyway. Come around to the ketchup at the end. And then one of the staff doing some restocking. And this is the section with all of the household items for your cleaning of your house and washing. And over here on the left is all the personal items. So there is everything in here, literally. 
there's probably definitely more in here than there used to be. There's actually even a section there with variety products. There's always a little bit of everything. Generally, you'll come in here for food and groceries, not necessarily for some of these things like glasses or, you know, a light bulb. It's not somewhere that you'd think of coming shopping for, but they have them available. More biscuits and treats. Let's have a look at the eggs over here. Now the bread used to be in this section here. And what I've noticed now is they've actually put some more fridges all the way around, which is definitely a good thing. More refrigerated items. Now let's see the classic household eggs. So the box of 10 is exactly 100 rubles. So just over a dollar for a box of 10 eggs. And if you really want the fancy ones, 120 rubles. I think there's not a big difference in the prices of the eggs here. They're all right about the same price. And of course, plenty to choose from. And then we come now to the beer section. Now, what's definitely changed here from before is they didn't have the beer on both sides. They had, actually the chocolate was over here. And then all of these chips and lays. This one up here, well, may or may not be interesting to some people. This is called A4. Now, this is actually a Russian YouTuber who is, well, some people may call him equivalent to the Mr. Beast of Russia but he's got his own potato chips. He also has meals at Burger King and he's very well known with the younger crowd in Russia. Do you think I need to have my own potato chips? Let me know in the comments. This is the awkward bit that I find with this store is that you've got quite a lot of fridges to navigate all of the dairy section. It's sort of still going and going. And then we come around to some of the refrigerated drinks so there's actually regular cool drinks and there's a few beers in the fridge here. I don't know how they decide which one goes in the fridge and which one doesn't. There's some boxed juices. So let's have a look here. There is pretty much just the classic drinks. There's the Dobra brand and then cool cola. Okay, a little bit all over the place with the choices of what's in the fridge. Now, most people generally don't get chilled drinks in Russia. Most people buy them as shelf available and at room temperature, especially with colder weather. You don't really need to have a cold drink on a cold day. Here he is again. He's got also juices as well. This guy's doing very well for himself. What am I up to? I'm busy making videos of the store and he's in here selling his product in them. Plenty of choices of waters. And then they actually have an alcohol section with wines. And the thing with the wine section, when you look at this, it's not, you know, just a few facings and then it's bulked out. It's literally one facing is one bottle. So you're looking at around about 200 types if you look at all of them. I wonder here, this is Italian wine. Looking at the picture on the label. Not the best at sort of looking and then filming at the same time as I walk around. And we come to the alcohol and spirits. And pretty much the rest is then all vodkas. And plenty of choices of vodkas as well. One thing I do notice is very popular in Russia is these energy drinks. And, you know, there are so many different types of them with different sort of names, Hot Cat, Gorilla, Flash. And I see so many people buying energy drinks, particularly amongst younger people, youths, students. Now, I've never got into energy drinks personally. Let me know in the comments. Is it something that you like? Something that you have from time to time? I'd be very curious. Here's lots of the beer snacks. Actually some dried fruit as well. A little bit of a mix and match of them. This is the beer that I tend to buy 
when I come to the store, Stella, the Belgian beer right there, and even in Russia, Belgian beer is more than available. So many different types of bud as well. I didn't realize there were so many types. Part of the reason I wanted to make a video in this store is because I heard that they'd made some changes. Now, I don't shop here all the time because this is at the train station. It's not immediately where I live. I've got plenty of local supermarkets immediately by my building. And generally I'll only pop in here as if I come to the train station to go to the food market next door. That I'll come in here and grab something if I need it. So yeah, I thought I'd definitely come and see what they've done to the place and see if it's got better or what the changes were. I was just having a look at some of the different alcohol and spirits on the shelf here and I found one called Grassmeister. Now I think it's a off-brand from Jägermeister. I just thought that the name was quite fun and interesting when I saw it as I walked by. As we come around then to the pet food area and all of the never-ending choices of cat food. I'd be confused even just having a look at all the different brands of them. It's kind of a whole area. Now there is cat and dog food as well, but predominantly it's cat food that's more commonly available because a lot of people live in apartments and it's just more a popular of a pet. Let me know, do you have a cat or a dog? I'm curious. And then they've got the freezers right here. So this has changed a little bit as well. So they used to have some uh, shelves right here on the right hand side. It's a little bit strange. So the f f ice creams I'm okay with. And then they've actually got some more. Actually there's three separate ice cream fridges. So there's a lot of choices <laughs> if you want some ice cream. And they've got some temporary stands right here. Toblerone. Oh, very nice. Anybody's a fan of Toblerone. They've got some bed sheets at the moment too. Maybe this is just a seasonal thing. I think this is maybe with your loyalty card and points that you can buy that. And then the registers. We might just go on the other side right here. All of the fairly classic candy bars are represented. This is the back side of the fruit and vegetables. So there's a refrigerator here with things like mushrooms and leaf vegetables. And then this whole way down then is the other regular vegetables and all of the classic things. On the top here, they've got all the different sachets for cooking and marinating. And if you want to do things for barbecues. And then they've got the refrigerators with the meats. Now, Magnet isn't so well known for buying meat or chicken and different things like that. Literally walking distance from here is the regular food market or Rinnock where they've got butchers. And it's not so well known that you'd come here to buy different meat products. But they've got them, they're available. They're just not nearly as popular. They've actually now introduced self-checkout here as well, which is completely new. This is where they've got gained all of this space right here. So they've got the self-checkouts. Now, the regular way to do it is just to grab what you want and then go through the normal register here on the right-hand side. We'll actually come around this way and slowly head on out. Now, I didn't actually need to shop in here today. I was actually here for another reason at the train station. So the regular checkout. And this is getting lots of comments and I think perhaps it's a thing that's in Russia and in Europe that the ladies get to sit down at the registers. And in other countries, they don't allow that or they don't have that as an option. So I think that's nice. If you want tobacco, there's this last register here for the tobacco. And then we've pretty much done the tour. So let me know about this. Is this a thing that's in Russia or is it maybe where you live around the world? Can the employees sit down at the checkout? As I walk on out of Magnet, I really hope you've enjoyed this. A little bit short and sweet video that I've done today coming to this store to make a tour for you. I hope you found it interesting. This is very much a Russian typical 
supermarket. I mean, 28,000 of these in Russia. They employ 280,000 people, which is just insane. And they say that up to 16 million people shop daily in a Magnit supermarket across Russia. That's half of Australia's population. <laughs> when I think about it as a number, of course, that's just a statistic, of course. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. That'll be very nice. I'm slowly heading on home in this direction today. Uh, if you want to watch an old video on the channel, one will come up right now. And if you want to follow me on Telegram, or if you want to chat to me, or if you want to follow along with what I do on a daily basis, a link to Telegram's right there. Very nice chat group that I've got a part of right already going. I said that a little bit backwards. <laughs> Thanks everybody. I'm off on another adventure. Bye.